वेलकम टू क्लास वन ऑफ सेक्रेटरी प्रैक्टिस आई वेलकम द फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट्स फॉर योर सेकेंड सेमिस्टर एंड फॉर दिस सेमिस्टर वी स्टडी अ सब्जेक्ट कॉल्ड एज कंपनी लॉ एंड सेक्रेटरी प्रैक्टिस सो सेक्रेटरी secretary the word secretary comes from the latin word which means secretarius okay so which means a person entrusted with the secrets the one who has one who is going to keep the secrets we call him as secretary so in this early times he was acted as a confidence and trusted assistance to the persons of power and influence so which mean someone who work for another person who is of great importance okay so which means the person who keeps the secret we call that person as secretary and this word is derived from the latin word okay so when we say the meaning of secretary so he is a person who is employed to write or transact business for other person society company or a public body which means he is going to his work is to write so we call him as a shorthand person right so it says though the directors of directors are the brain of a company the secretary of a company is considered as ear eyes and hands of the company so he is a coordinator and maintains the correspondence with all stakeholders of the company which means he is going to write for another so we know secretary is always busy in noting something what is going to note so he is going to note the proceedings of the meeting okay so he is going to note each and everything what is going to listen okay so listen hear the secrets so he is the eyes eyes because he is going to observe each and everything so we call secretary as ears eyes and hands of the company so the next is definition so definition as per the section 2 subsection 45 it says that the individual who is possessing the prescribed qualification appointed to perform a duties which may be performed by the secretary under this act and any other ministerial or administrative duties so therefore only individual can be the secretaries so which means one point we have to make it clear that is individual so here individual only that person so one who is alive one who have life a living person so can be a secretary and not the firm body corporate like company or other institution okay another thing is the duties so what type of duties is going to perform he is going to perform the duties which related to secretary so which means it may be the administrative duties okay so it may be the administrative duties it may be the it may be the routine duties okay so this you are going to study clearly in the next topic the next is features of secretary so features of secretary the first thing says that he should be individual as we have studied in the definition only the individual can be the secretary so the firm body corporate like company and any other institutions cannot work as a secretary so which means the secretary is always an individual a living person a firm or a body corporate like a company or any other institution cannot work as a secretary only an individual can be appointed and can work as a secretary the next is qualification so this qualification says that a person 
to be appointed as a secretary should possess the prescribed educational qualification and certain qualities according to the provisions made in the act applicable to that institution so in order to perform the assigned duties more effectively every secretary needs to have sound educational qualifications which means he should be cs or a company secretary so and certain qualities he should possess however a person to be appointed as a secretary in the institution needs to possess some prescribed qualification that is according to the provisions made in the act applicable to that institution the next is appointment so the appointment of secretary it may be compulsory it may be optional and this is as per the provision of law okay he may work as a full time secretary he may work as a part time secretary okay so he may be appointed by the busy individuals a company a cooperative societies a government public ex organization etc he may be appointed as a personal secretary or institutional secretary okay then the next is paid employees or he is a paid employee we can say why he is a paid employee so secretary acts as a senior executive so he carries out the work directed by his employer so it means he has a employer so when he is a employer and he is a employee so he will be paid something right so the secretary is a paid employee of an organization or a person so he is either a paid salary or given honorarium okay he is a senior executive official so he occupies a key position in the organization so he is going to carry out whatever is directed to him by his employer the next is duties so secretarial duties so secretary is going to perform both the duties administrative duties and also the routine duties so what are these administrative duties conducting the correspondence maintaining the accounts and records of the business operations assisting the chairman while conducting the meeting so writing the minutes of the company comply with the statutory requirements if any so he has to fulfill these duties as a administrative duty so sir there are some routine duties so relating towards the employees of the organ or employer or the organization like fixing the appointments giving reminders replying the query of employees etc the next the next stage he is a confidential officer so we know confidence what is confidence when you are going to have confidence on someone so you trust someone so which means you have a confidence in that person okay so the secretary is called as a trustworthy person why is called as a trustworthy person so he is called as a trustworthy person because he is going to hold all the secrets and is not going to reveal to anyone okay so confidential officer the secretary is a trusted servant of his employer or organization so he is a custodian of a secret confidential and important information of his employer or organization so as he is closely associated with the top management and also involved in the execution of policy decision he has to maintain utmost secrecy in and is not expected to deliver or to reveal this secret inform information to others the next is representative to whom he is going to represent it so he is going to represent it, the person who is going to employ okay who is going to give him the work so here a secretary represents his employer or organization he acts as a representative of organization so there are two types of secretaries we can say personal secretary and institutional secretary okay so as we have dealt with these two terms in earlier okay 
so personal secretary so a person who is employed by the busy person is called as personal secretary so an individual individual means a, a an individual who is appointed as a secretary by the institution is called as a institutional secretary then the last is qualities as he has to perform the number of duties he should possess certain qualities like honesty courtesy ability to judge etc so every secretary must possess certain qualities of head and heart such as accuracy tact tactfulness leadership as i said courtesy so you should have a good health winsome personality means attractive personality strong common sense ability to judge people etc so as to perform the number of functions and duties more effici efficiently and effectively he should possess all these qualities thank you